Hello everyone, welcome back here to Martin's Health and Fitness. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while and I thought today I'd like to share with you what being an athlete means to me. So sit back and I hope you feel inspired um, by my following video. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race, every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way, had to fight and misbehave. Way to change, I had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's hard to pass time, no opinion safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let So, um, for me, being an athlete is really not just about winning. I am an overachiever. I don't like losing. Um, I love to win. And if I do lose, it's never a case of I have beef or something against the human being that I it was my opponent. Um, it's really about me thinking afterwards, okay, how can I become better how what can i do differently um to win or to bring a better package when i was a karate athlete it would be how to be faster what i would have to do um to achieve like the next level because obviously if i didn't achieve um a certain thing i would think okay i want to level up and what what should i do to do that um yeah the for me to take being an athlete seriously is really is really more it's like deep it's about where i'm from i'm from a small town out um and yes when i was there i knew that i don't want to stay there right i don't want to stay there i don't want to fall into um addiction whether it's like alcohol whether it's drugs uh, i don't want to be on the streets um, gossiping, um, falling into things that will keep me there and unhappy. And I know for like different strokes for different folks. So for me personally, um, I never wanted to stay there. Uh, I always knew I wanted to travel the world. And I saw sport as um, an out, right? So I, I started karate my parents took me to my first karate class and i fell in love with it so i i loved that i could learn new skills and obviously since i'm an overachiever i wanted to be better and faster than i was like the previous class or that i wanted to perform better than i did at a previous tournament so it was always um that at least it started there for me to keep myself busy and out of trouble unnecessary trouble because obviously like i've seen my peers fall into like how can i say it falling into like the wrong things that help them back from their goals and i seeing that i didn't want that to happen to me so i took my training extremely seriously and obviously with that came my rewards like first place placements trophies um and i did feel very proud of myself but that's not what it was about for me it was really about um getting out of my small town okay and i do guess that my video is actually about um or at least about aspiring or inspiring someone that feels like okay there's no way out or out of a small town or like someone that feels stuck um i just want to motivate you um and encourage you to not give up like find a role model okay that's what i did i found myself a role model um and it's not like it's, i don't want to say I, back when i was a teenager copy the role model it's a, a thing of doing research what are they doing that they are so happy or that took them out of the small town like for whatever they did for their career i 
obviously then applied it to myself. Um, so I found myself a role model. So I think you should found your, find yourself a role model. Think to yourself, okay, what do I want to become ideally? And then you look up to someone that's doing a similar thing than you. And obviously then you have to apply it to your life, all right? Um, so that's what I did. So I, I feel like you find yourself a role model. Work hard, stay consistent, find out what you need to do to get to where you ideally see yourself. Okay, visualize what you would like to become. Um, stay consistent, okay? Work hard and never give up. Because I always say and think what is worth it will never come easy. It's almost like the universe is testing you at some point. How badly do you want it? Um, if you eventually have it, will you be strong enough to keep it? So it's like the universe is putting you through various tests. So eventually when the door opens that you are ready, you are strong enough to maintain um, whatever goal or whatever work you wanted to achieve. Um, whatever sort of standard that you want to hold up to. So I am happy that for my role models, they are still around. Um, I will mention them eventually. Um, and I'm so grateful like that they were in my life. And it will never, sometimes it will never be someone famous. It will never be um, someone that is rolling around in the most expensive car and that lives in a big house. Personally, for me, it was someone that, like two people in my life that had beautiful personalities. They were so happy, and they just, they they just applied this like the simple things, or chased the simple things in life that brought them happiness, which was never money. Um, so that gave me like some sort of a boost that happiness is possible, if, even if you don't like have the most. Okay, you just have to have uh, a beautiful, in Afrikaans we would say gesintheid. I, I don't know what the word is in English right now. You just have to have a beautiful gesintheid and people would, will trust you and support you and you would, people will gravitate towards your energy if your energy is for them. Um, so yeah, so just don't give up and work hard okay because if it if it's worth it you should be willing to stick out anything that comes comes your way and now that i'm not a teenager anymore um thinking back of what i've gone through and um how i pushed through uh, my teenage years and high school i i now that I am also in an educated position, I feel like, okay, now I can at least boost my students' confidence and encourage them to never give up, literally, to work hard and obviously hold yourself accountable. Um, there's, there are consequences to every decision that you make um, and you need to take responsibility for it. Um, like, don't point any fingers. Um, no one is holding your hand right now and making you do things no one is in your brain physically and pushing certain thoughts um forward or opening your mouth and somehow making your mouth move to say things that you're not supposed to so hold yourself accountable take responsibility for every action um obviously that you take because obviously for every action there is a reaction um, and like some days I, I sometimes forget so then I would think back and I'm like okay now it's okay to make mistakes so now I have to just think back take responsibility and then life will just move on okay so I think I'm in this position right now to motivate my students and obviously continuously motivate myself for whatever goals I set right now to not give up to just stick it out and go for it because what is worth for me will eventually be um, I just have to obviously be dedicated to this goal um, to my goals now that I'm a bodybuilding athlete it's literally applying it to your everyday life I have certain goals when it comes to bodybuilding I want to look a certain way so that means I have to eat a certain way and that is just my personal goal obviously you will take it for whatever 
you have in mind for yourself but right now i want to build bigger muscles i want to grow a certain way um to bring my personal best package to stage so i know what i have to do um i know that if you are an athlete you look up to people that are in your field and i have a great coach and i have had great coaches before uh, my coach right now and me being an overachiever i only choose the best um i pay what needs to be paid and i follow what needs to be followed and this is the same with karate um i don't just go after the crowd that's also something that i've brought from my teenage years to now i hate the crowd if people go left i will go right right because i'm just like okay I, yeah, I don't like moving in groups, okay? So you need to make sure that you are doing the research for yourself. Um, you need to make sure that you are able to afford um, what comes with your choice of coach um, because the sport is expensive. So you need to be willing to make those sacrifices and not expect people to lower their price for you. Um, right, so I am in a privileged position right now that like my husband is a qualified coach and I trust him. I've trusted him for a very long time. Um, and I am just grateful that he's taking me as his athlete because I will never disappoint him because I, I have goals and I want to show that as a coach, he also knows what he's doing and I follow it to the T. Um, right, so you need to make sure that you put people in your corner that believe in you because you literally have to love your goal and i must say like i know i'm a bodybuilding athlete but i was a karate athlete first and karate is really not about showing all of your moves it's really not about um showing someone how strong you are or how you can knock someone's teeth out it's literally about keeping the peace um literally like for example if you are in a situation where you know you can win letting the other person win because you need to keep the peace you are you need to obviously be the brave one let your ego aside and just keep the peace okay um everything literally is kung fu or karate right what you eat um the what what you do with your body because if I, for example, get into trouble right now and there's no way out, I have to defend myself. I need to make sure that my body is fit enough to execute these techniques if, if the moment comes, right? So that is still how I love right now. I'm a very disciplined person. Um, so I, I don't believe in being a show-off. So, yeah, I see myself as a very humble human being. Um, so, yeah, I hope some of you... This is literally what I was... Um, what this video is about, is sharing who I am and how I think, how I love. Um, so, I hope there's some of you that will find this useful and that will be inspired. Um, and literally, the main thing is just don't give up on your goals. Be serious about your goals keep yourself accountable um, for every decision that you make um, and please value yourself and put the right people um, in your corner because actually you have a choice who you want in your corner and who you want in your space okay because those people will have a direct impact on your spirit so be careful and yeah trust that what is meant for you will be for you um enjoy your day or enjoy your evening wherever you are from remember to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and yeah remember to give us a shout out if you want a consultation call to give us okay we do lifestyle we also do bodybuilding okay we my husband and I, we are all around this, okay? It's like you're getting a full package. We are sports people. We, uh, And it's literally, I can almost say, is a blessing that we are also great teachers. 
and I do call myself a great teacher because I literally put everything in the classroom. I leave it all there. My energy is like I'm very present with what I do. I am not half asking everything, anything. Okay, that's what I meant to say. Anything. So I'm a great teacher, and I feel like I've been taught by great teachers. So my teachers back home did inspire me and yeah I know that I am at least touching a few hearts okay and hopefully the entire class or all the students that come across that I that come across me um yeah if I said that right um but yeah so you're getting a full package um we are overachievers and we only want the best for the people that we work with so yeah, you would you will not go wrong. And the bottom or the cherry on top, sorry, the cherry on top of all of this is we are affordable, because we we know what it is to not be able to afford certain facilities or certain coaches. So we want to be for the people that that have certain goals, and we want to be of accessible for them. Yeah so yes that's that's me or that's us here at martin's health and fitness um yeah remember to leave a like check us out on our instagram and give us a shout out leave a comment below if you have any other questions or if you would like to see any other content on our our channel yes like i said we are here for you and remember pack away your weights